I'm a dentist. Ears are low down on toothpaste. As long as it has fluoride they are all basically the same. What's an industry secret in the field you work in? Used to screen resumes for small companies. Job requirements are more of a wish list situation. Never let some unchecked boxes deter you from applying. You have no idea what the applicant pool is like. The biggest boon, especially at small companies, is someone who legitimately cares. Not an industry I work in per se, but I used to be in a sales role. One of my customers was a milk bottling plant. I was somewhat surprised that they were putting the exact same milk in both organic and non-organic cartons. Turns out all of their milk is organic, but in order to not miss out on the sales of non-organic milk, they just bottle them differently and sell them at different prices. A lot of librarians will waive you fines if you have an excuse and you don't ask her frequently, even large fines. Also, librarians don't care about your fines and aren't judging you. Please come back. We personally have more fines than you. Librarians are always overdue with their books. I'm a teacher. If you as a parent will read with your child often and early, your child will thrive in school. I'm talking daily books read together from newborn to about third grade. Every single day. No teacher can replace that. If you're someone who purchases bulk nuts, grains, etc. Just know that those beans are probably rarely cleaned, and even when they are cleaned, odds are they were just rinsed out slash wiped down to look clean. I used to be a bulk buyer at Whole Foods Market, and when I took over our bulk department had no cleaning logs or sanitizing procedure. The bins had moths slash insect colonies and mold in them. Our store was opened nearly 5 years prior. Former aircraft fueler. Don't check your pets in kennels. Especially in summer or winter. They are submitted to some very harsh environments. Left on belt loaders and the sweltering heat right next to a running APU that's loud enough to deafen human ears, let alone a dog's. It's terrible. I always feel so sorry for them. American Airlines will destroy your luggage. They get overloaded on carts, fall off on the way to the plane, and are left there to get run over by tankers and yes fuelers, and rained on, then dragged to the edge of the ramp to sit all night, while you arrive at your destination and wonder where the hell your bags are. If your departure is delayed, 90% of the time it's us, the fueler. Look out the window to the right side, if it's a small plane, left side if it's a really big plane. If there's a truck sitting under the wing, we are the reason you're late. Sorry. I'm a fossil replicator and apparently the industry secret is the fact that we exist. So many people are blown away to learn that most fossils they see in museums are replicas. Construction boy here. If your windows or sliding doors are tough to open and close, 9 times out of 10, we put your own dish soap on tracks and the thing works perfectly. It takes 5 minutes and we charge 150. Dish soap people, it's better than WD-40 sometimes. Healthcare. Homemaker. If your grandparent or parent gets in home care, please know that your family member could live in a cockroach infested house, and not have to move, if they didn't want to. It's not up to the company, to give your loved ones environmentally safe places to live, it's up to the family. They can certainly try to persuade, but they can't force. Why do I know this? Because I've been to the cockroach infested house where an 80 year old woman lives. I have a mentally ill client that put bleach in his dog's water to help with its breath. I have a client who never cleans his cat box. I have a client who has a caved in ceiling. I've called it in, but there is no help from the company. All they say is, there's nothing we can do. It's up to the family members. It's a sad sad thing, because there are so many family members and friends who really don't give a shit how some people are living. Sure, they'll visit. But do they clean the litter box? Do they make sure there are no cockroaches? Do they make sure the house is stable, and not falling apart? Nope. 
They say they care, and that they love the person, but they don't care enough to make sure they live in a healthy environment. It really worries me, because if I imagine my own mother having such a deteriorated mind, and there were no other family members to help her, she could live in a rundown, cockroach infested house, if she was stubborn enough. It frustrates me, because whereas the client does have rights, should they really have the right to live somewhere where their health could be at risk? Where their caregivers could be at risk as well? A huge portion of online reviews, ratings, social media presence, etc. that you see for any given company are fake, paid for, or done by multiple accounts controlled by us. This includes the company's Glassdoor page, fake reviews about how great it is to work there, so that the million negative reviews don't crush their page. I'm not saying it's every company out there, but it's been a lot of the ones I've worked for. Source, I'm a copywriter. What are ethics? I surely don't know anymore. I'm a musician. It's not really a secret, but 90% of our revenue is for merch. Spotify plays, show guarantees, etc. Everything is menial in comparison to shirt sales. In fact, a big reason bands tour as often as possible is because we can sell more shirts when we are in front of people was in one of those new metal bands from the late 90s zeros, and was signed to a major record label. I can tell you that bands that handle 100% of the recording slash merch themselves are better off. A record deal, is just a big loan from a large corporation, and unless you make it big, like Metallica big, exactly none of the money from record sales goes to the band. It goes to repaying all of the promotion, production, etc. I toured 4 years for the Padim, the free swag, and free biz at the venue. I was out of that band 4 years, before I started seeing BMI royalties, luckily have a perpetuity clause, so I get a few bucks here and there, whenever someone plays it ironically. I'm a dentist. Here's a lowdown on toothpaste. As long as it has fluoride they are all basically the same. When I was in dental school the Colgate lady came by, and said that everything, that says Colgate total on it is all exactly the same, the only difference is the packaging. So whether it says whitening, or gum protection, or whatever else it is all exactly the same. The exception is sensitivity toothpaste typically does have an extra active ingredient, KNO3, which helps with sensitivity. Don't ever feel obligated to buy the expensive toothpaste, because you think it will be better for your teeth. Just buy whatever you like best. Audio engineer here. A few seemingly obvious things to point out. Be aware of eye candy. Don't be fooled by big mixing consoles. Sometimes they are not even used for your music. Hell, sometimes they don't even function. I've seen studios, where the sole purpose of a large board is to dupe unsuspecting musicians into parting with their money. In larger studios, bands with smaller budgets are often stuck with an intern who may not even be getting paid. Be cautious of studios that claim so and so recorded here. There's a studio in Iowa, that claims Slipknot recorded here. And while it's true, Slipknot did record in that building, it was a different owner, different engineers, and some different equipment. You're not going to sound like Slipknot by recording there, sorry. If you order a pizza, but like to choose your own toppings, it's often cheaper to choose an existing pizza like a meat supreme or something with loads of toppings, then swap out all the toppings for ones you want, than to go for the create your own option in the menu. Note, this is much less awkward, if you order online than on the phone. RV technician here. SH asterisk T is designed to start braking, after around 44 uses. Most RV owners use their trailers on weekends. But not every weekend. So that 44 uses on average stretches between 2 and 3 years. Teenage Burger King employee here. The left side of the broiler is hotter than the right, which means only 4 of the 8 Whopper patties in the tray are flame grilled to perfection. The lifespan for fries, to be considered fresh at Burger King is 7 minutes. Chances are, yours have been out for over 30 minutes. 
According to my manager, the original chicken sandwich is a combination of mincemeat, chicken extras, and chicken breast, hence why it bubbles up whenever you fry it, because it's not completely solid. The eggs on the breakfast sandwiches are baked in an oven compared to McDonald's, where they use a grill. Ever wonder why a Whopper has so much damn mayo? The listed amount on the build sheet is 0.75 ounces. Your soy milk pumpkin spice lad still has milk in it, it's just in the pumpkin spice flavoring. Sauce, was a Starbucks barista for several years. Edit, apparently other syrups also do this so just be wary people, it might be in small quantities, but it can still lead to several hours of discomfort and of course drinking it for extended periods of time could make you feel like crap all the time. Use our best judgment people. Cinemas of bugs living in the soft furnishings, that eat the tiny leftovers we miss when cleaning. Even with vacuuming we can't get the tiny pieces of food or spilled drink. Cockroaches and other small critters aren't easy to spot in the dark, and they hide when the lights are on. Think about that next time you get comfortable. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more videos.